Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on Docker. In today's session, we are going to take a look at uh, how to create your own image. In the earlier session, we have seen how to make use of the existing image which we have downloaded from hub.docker.com. In today's session, we will create our own image and upload it to hub.docker.com. The image which we are trying to create today is Robot Selenium Framework Image. Okay, so there are few steps to be uh, followed. The, to create our own image, we need to have a base image. Since we have downloaded Ubuntu image earlier, we are going to use that as a base image. Let us go back to our PowerShell. Let us do docker images. Now we have Ubuntu image. The first step is we need to make use of docker pull command to download the Ubuntu image. Since we have already downloaded that image, so we are going to make use of this particular image by skipping step one. The step two is we need to run a container using this image by making use of docker run hyphen it ubuntu bash command okay now we have a running container based on ubuntu image before that i wanted to show you something um, let me exit this first if I do docker history Ubuntu, this gives you the history of this particular image. Okay, and if I do docker inspect and if you look at the layers attribute, so it has got four layers built into it as of now okay so let us go back to our step 2 which is docker run hyphen it ubuntu and bash command ubuntu bash command okay so now the container is running and within this container we need to add the packages the first step is we need to update the existing packages for that we're going to make use of apt get update Okay, so this will update the existing packages within this container. By using apt get update, uh, all the packages got updated now. Okay, the next step is we need to install Python. So for that, apt install Python 3.7. So this is the specific version which we are installing, which is 3.7. Instead of apt-get, we can also use apt. Okay, say so yes here. 3.7 okay so it has installed python 3.7 so let us see whether it is installed or not okay python 3.7 seven hyphen V okay so 
now this is the command to verify the whether python has has been installed or not so this is giving me the version as python 3.7.5 okay so as a next step we need to install pip pip is needed to install robot framework so first we need to install python 3 pip I will provide all these commands in the description of this video. Let me pause the video and uh, come back after PIP is installed. After sometimes all the packages related to PIP um, got installed, uh, let us go back and verify whether PIP is installed correctly or not. So we can try out PIP3 command. If we get the help when we type in PIP3 command, that means our PIP um, that means our PIP installation is correct. Okay, the next step is to install a robot framework using PIP which we have installed just now okay so the command is PIP3 install a robot framework okay so once this robot framework is installed uh, let us type in a robot to see whether this is installed successfully after each step you need to verify whether that particular package got installed or not okay so I typed in robot there and it was expecting one more argument there so that means our robot is robot framework is installed correctly okay as a last step uh, in my case I'm going to install a robot framework selenium library Okay, now all our installation is done on this particular container if I exit the container now then all my installation will be lost so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another PowerShell okay so now I have two PowerShell windows one where we have installed all the necessary items to build an image and the other one we I just opened it in the other window so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in docker container ls so this is the container which is running now okay so now before I exit this container from this window I need to commit all the changes made to this container into a, a new image for that I'm going to make use of this command docker commit followed by the container name where we have installed all the necessary software or the necessary items and this is still running okay so while it is running we are trying to create a new image okay so the command is docker commit and the container name and the name of the image okay and version 1 okay so this is the name of the image 
here I'm saying it's Raj Tech Trainer slash Robot Framework and this is the version 1 of this particular image based on whatever is contained in this container okay so let us hit enter okay now if I do docker images okay this is the Ubuntu image which we had pulled and we have used it as a base image and now we have another image called Raj Tech Trainer slash Robot Framework and the version is version 1. In, in case of Ubuntu, the version is the latest version. In our case, we have created the first version of this particular image. Okay, so if I do Docker history of Raj Tech Trainer slash Robot framework and version 1 here it says we have used the bash command now if I do docker inspect now earlier we had four layers now we have the fifth layer which was added by all the installation which we have done on this particular container okay so now if I quit this okay and clear screen okay let me close the other uh, PowerShell window okay so now if I do docker images now I have two images here now if I do docker run minus it and the name of the new image which we have created which is version 1 and bash okay so we have created a new container based on the new image which we have created so this particular image should contain Python robot framework as well as robot selenium framework so this particular container should contain now Python as well as robot let us see whether Python still exists on this particular image or not okay Python 3.7 minus V okay so we still have Python on this and let me type robot here okay so a robot is also present on this container which we have created based on this particular image okay so now we have created our own image okay so these are the steps which we followed to create a new image the last command was docker commit and the container name container ID and the name of the image okay so this is what we have done so you can create your own image based on the requirement uh, by following the uh, steps which we followed just now um, in your case these software which we need to install on that particular image which we are going to create may differ but the procedure is same right now we have successfully created a new image so let us see how to push this particular image to hub.docker.com so what I have done here is I have logged on to hub.docker.com and if I go to repositories okay and I have logged in as Raj Tech Trainer and if I go to repositories I have one image here Raj Tech Trainer uh, robot image and uh, this is the image which we are going to push it now which is Raj Tech Trainer slash robot framework and version 1 okay so let me exit this now let me clear the screen the command is docker 
push raj tech trainer slash robot framework and version one okay now what it is doing is it is pushing the current image which we have built onto hub.docker.com So once it is pushed successfully, uh, we should see that under repository section. Once it is pushed successfully, we should see that under repositories section. Okay. Let me pause this video as it is pushing and it is taking a little bit of time. And once it is done successfully, I'll come back. Okay, now this command has been run successfully and it says it has pushed. Let us go back and see whether that particular image exists on hub.docker.com. Okay, so let me refresh this. Okay, now as you can see, there is a new image which got created here. Okay, so this is how we can push a particular image onto hub.docker.com. Since this is publicly available, anybody can download this particular image and use it. That is the end of this session. Thanks for watching. Please stand by for the next video on this series.